Okay, so this is the last, last lesson of our uh, chapter on uh, integers. Um, and now we get to a really tricky part, and that's the exponents when we're looking at orders of operations. Uh, so orders of operations is chapter 6.7 in our textbook. I'm just going to go through a couple of examples, though, that have exponents in it, because exponents are really, really, really tricky uh, when it comes to uh, integers. So let's look at this example up here. When I have um, in brackets, I have negative 2 to the third power. Now, if we review, um, as we recall, what powers are, and so the exponent tells us how many repeated multiplications of the base um, exist. So we have negative 2 to the third power means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Now, if we learned in the last lesson, um, that just means that we look at sequentially. So we move with the first two together, and we multiply the signs, and we multiply the numbers. So we'll start with the numbers. 2 times 2 is 4. And then a negative times a negative is a positive. So that's the first part times negative 2. And then uh, we have uh, 4 times 2 is 8. And positive times negative is negative. So our answer for this one is negative 8. If we look at the next one, I have negative 2 to the fourth power, which is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Again, I can look at all the numbers together, so 2 times 2. And actually, if I wanted to combine them all together, it, it's fine. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 um, is 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. And I look at the signs. Negative times a negative is a positive that times a negative becomes negative, and then negative times a negative becomes a positive again. So my answer is positive 16. If I look at this example, the difference really is there are no brackets. So if I look at here, this says minus 2 to the third power. Well, if we look at orders of operations, exponents work on the number first before the subtraction does. Uh, so which means that this is really negative, 2 times 2 times 2, because the exponents work on the number first. So that means 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So my answer still is negative 8, which actually matches the first example. So there's no big difference with that one. Where there's a difference is now this one, where I have negative 2 to the fourth power. So that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Because it's not in brackets, because the 2 is not in brackets, or the negative 2 is not in brackets, I should say, then it's really the 2 that's only being multiplied four times. So that I have negative, then 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and that is 16, and the negative remains there, and you notice that now is the big difference between these two answers. Now, let's take a little example that was in a textbook. I'm just going to make it a little bit more complicated, and let's just put a negative sign in there, and let's make this squared, just to give it a little bit more of a flair. Um, so if we take this uh, problem, if we look at orders of operation, uh, we start first with uh, brackets. So we try to look at the larger square brackets first, solve them. So we're going to solve everything in the brackets, but I also have embedded brackets. I have these rounded brackets, uh, parentheses, which are within the square brackets. So we'll start with those first. Uh, and everything else I'll just leave the same for now. So I have negative 6. Oops, I have a little bit of a formatting problem there. So let's just move that back up. divided by negative 3 plus. Now, let's work in the brackets. In my rounded brackets, I have 4 minus minus 5. Well, I can rewrite that to 4 plus 5, then times negative 7. Now, those are still in embedded, embedded brackets times 4 over 4 minus 5. I continue to work in my brackets. So I have negative 6 squared divided by negative 3. Plus, in my brackets, I have 4 plus 5 is 9 times negative 7. And because my denominator is on the bottom, I can work on that separately. So 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Now, I can work on my um, exponents at the same time I'm working as that brackets. Negative 6 squared is positive 36 divided by my negative 3. Plus, in this brackets, I have 9 times uh, negative 7, uh, which ends up being negative 63 all that divided by negative 1. Now I have 36 divided by negative 3 is negative 12 plus negative 63 over negative 1. And that makes it negative 75 divided by negative 1. And the answer is positive 75.